All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am your friend, 5MD, and I'm a UX designer in Toronto. Okay, so today is actually going to be a very good video. It's gonna be short and sweet. A couple of weeks ago, I will probably say December, so it's not really a couple of weeks ago. I have faced a problem, man, where I need the users to write a review and register, and I did not pay much attention to it. Every time I get a user to write a review, somewhere it fails. So I recently took this challenge on and I came up with a solution. If you have a website, it's very important to have the user sign up no matter what. If it's a clothing site, a directory site, or even just a basic five page website, you need your users to register. So you could have a squeeze page, you could have a, you could promote a landing page. It is very, very, very important. All right, so what happens when a user visits my website, zaboom.com, I'll put the link in the description below. It is my startup, by the way, those of you who did not know. So they find a business that they have already had an experience with. For example, a restaurant. They go to that business page, they write a review, however, they do not want to sign up. And it is a huge problem for a site like me because I want the users to write their reviews and also register at the same time because that is what my website is about. It's literally like Yelp, but for the Muslim consumers. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, so let me show you that problem on my screen, which is right here. And so you guys exactly understand what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is a business detail page. It is for KK Sushi, they're located in Mississauga. All right, now me as a brand new user, I am going to write a review on my startup website called Zaboom. I click on this button here. It takes me to the writer review page. Okay, so over here, I'm going to select my rating and just type, type. Just, I'm just gonna keep going. Boom, 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 boom. Over here it says sign up and post. Click on this. Now this is where I went wrong, I guess. So for a new user, when they come to this page, they're like, holy shit, where am I? It's a brand new page. I feel uncomfortable right now. However, if you look at this page, it says you can fill up the form, first name, last name, email address, password. You, if you want, upload a picture and register, or you can sign in with Facebook, Twitter. And if you already have an account, you can just click log in. Users are not in love with this. They're not liking it. Therefore, I need to come up with a solution. My solution is I went to our comparative websites. I just say right here, yelp.ca. It's the same concept. The difference between Yelp and my business is I cater towards Muslim a lot. However, there are other sites as well. For example, you can try yellow pages you can try um, Zometo even maybe just eat they pretty much have the same concept just to make this video simple I'm going to use Yelp as an example so let's pick a business here let's click on this one right here let's write a review this is the writer review page I am just going to do this post review. As you can see, I have not logged in and I did not sign up. So click here, bang, modal, amazing. So this is what my users are looking for. This is good because it doesn't take the user to a brand new page with brand new information. It appears on the same page and it's less than one click away. So going back to my page, I, so this is the detail page, business detail page. I opened it up on Photoshop. I've created a model as well. This part here is just in case um, if you if you don't have an account and you want to register, this notification will appear. So you can log in to your post by signing in with Facebook, Google, or fill up the form. Very sweet and simple. And if you don't have an account, you can. See this model same thing this email address is already in use please log in it will take you back to the login model you can sign in with facebook google full name email address password terms of condition and that is it as you can see 
this is the model and this is the page on the page there's first name and last name i made that into full name email address and type your password once over here's email address password and then confirm password which gets pretty annoying so i combine them together put them as password i removed profile photo i kept this and the button same here and here and that is it that is it okay that was it i hope you guys liked today's video if you guys did give this video a big smashing thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my channel please do it and don't forget to click on the bell icon and also i vlog by the way if you're into these i'm sure you guys will like my personality when i vlog i guess yeah so that was it short video as promised and thank you for watching bye bye